Okay, first stop on today's trip is to the bait shop. So we're right here in front of Veterans Memorial State Park, seven mile bridge. And then there's been just pilchers all along these flats here. So we're gonna net a few. I'm gonna try to keep some live ones and then uh, keep a few dead ones as extra. So that is the beginning of our plan. And they point the way. Okay, so I got way up above them. The wind's blowing that direction. So I want the wind to just drift me through where they're at. That way I could be hands free, not have to deal with anything. It'll naturally flow that way. I could throw my stake out anchor if I get into a spot where they're all held up. But I think uh, if it was like last time, I've got to drift through them and just cast, cast, cast. So let's get ready here and start throwing. I think we're kind of in the middle of them. It's a little bit hard to see. I'd like to have them a little bit more grouped up so I don't have to throw as much. But they just might be all spread out. What? Show me the way, man. Where are they at? Well, I can't see very well, so I'm just going to blind throw because this guy's just diving all around me. Okay, so let's see if they're just here and I can't see them. Nope, no flashes there. Uh, little flashes, a couple. There's a few in there. Yeah, they're way down in those grass there. All right, I'm gonna stake up here. There we go. I got my bucket full of liveys there. Those will be good. Picked up enough for some dead chumming in there. So I think I'm just gonna do this small little bridge over here. Um, it's blocked off so you can't uh, uh, fish on the actual bridge. Seven miles right there, but if I don't see anything over here, I might, mo I might move, but this one doesn't get fished very often. There's no reason for traffic to come through here. So let's see what's over there. All right, we're all set up over here, um, almost in the middle. The two sides get very shallow and there's actually eddies where the water is going against the current. Today the water right now is going out, so that's good. Um, not super deep, it's probably six, seven foot here, but pretty much all the way across, so not a lot there. But what I've got is the chum. So as I start getting it back there, everything will start pulling in behind me. And then plus out there is a little bit more rocky stuff from the bridge making. So let's get some chum in the water and see what comes up. The minnow's getting chased. All right, while we're waiting, I'm just gonna go ahead and put one out. I've got the 1 16 out uh, weighted uh, circle hook. Put it through the nose. I'm just gonna put it right out there and just have it sit there in that shadow line. See what happens while that chum starts dissipating. I don't have a lot left from that last trip, but it should be enough to get things started. Go. Get him out of there. Is that a jack? Yep, Mr. Jack. Greedy, greedy jack.
the never give up fish. There we go. And where'd we get him? Right in the corner of the mouth. There's another species for the circle hook. Right there. Pull it out. Alright, get out of here. And that gigantic tarpon right there. I don't have a bait out for him. Come back, big tarpon. That's my second gigantor tarpon of the year. A little undergun for those. Uh, I'm set up right by the boat launch. There's that little private island here, seven mile bridge. There's this kind of a rubble pile of deep hole they made right here. So I'm just gonna chum that up. You can see it's kind of almost flats here and then 20 feet deep here. So we'll see if we could chum anything up here. I didn't want to go too far. I see something long and skinny running around. See if I could live bait him to attack. Didn't look like a cuda. Looked more like a ladyfish. Could be a juvenile tarpon. That big tarpon. I got a pilcher down there. Not a very big one though. Uh oh. Oh, that's not that tarpon. Be nice with that tarpon, but don't feel like it. Ah, uh, that a grouper? Yeah, grouper. Dang it. Well, that's good, but I want that big tarpon. Action breeds action, though. Come over here. I don't know why he. There's some skinny stuff down there. side <clears throat> uh. nice little grouper here ah beauty there we go Get better color. That's what we're looking for. He's gonna grow up to be a hundred pounder, but not today. Get him loose. Just in case so I can catch that big old tarpon that keeps running around here. There we go. Alright, beauty. Grow up to be much bigger. Got something on the knocker rig. It's swimming away with it. Oh! What is this? Oh no! Oh! It's gonna get in my other line. I know it. Oh! Fast runner though. Speedy Gonzalez. Oh, in the rocks. Get him up. Get him up. Ugh. In the rocks. Just trying to get in the rocks. 
kicking up mud. Oh, I think a shark's ate. Oh, it's a ray. What the heck? Oh, man. I was wondering, man, that was like a speedy Gonzalez type deal. Well, heck. Alright, you gotta sell down, buddy. Alright, don't be throwing that stinger around. I know, hold on. It's alright. Alright, don't, don't, don't stinger me. Actually, I just want the sink. Oh, you ate the sinker. I just wanted the sinker back. All right, you can keep it all. Learn your lesson. Dang it, there goes my knocker rig. The big tarpon. My bait's down there somewhere. Oh, it's way over here. I gotta move. This big old thing's coming here, so I gotta get out of here. All right, last move. Just kind of by the dock, right at the first section. It's, it's a deeper channel that runs through here, so you can see how much current is here. I was kind of in a dead zone up there, but hopefully those weeds don't come over here. And this is my last spot. I'm gonna use the rest of this chum and see if we can catch something. Alright, something's already playing with it. There we go. That was fast. Oh, came off. Uh, back again. There we go. Yep, it's going to be Snapper City, I think. That's the, uh, I'm using the live pilchards, basically going through the chin, out the nose. So just basically nose hook there. Lots and lots of current. One sixteenth ounce, so it'll start getting it down so it's not swimming right along the top. Got chum flowing. Oh, I think something's got it. Let it run, let it eat it. How's that bell? Oh no, here comes the dang weeds. Ah, dang it. I want to get right in it. Should move to the other side. Ah, dang it. dang weeds are killing me it just won't leave me alone and there we go live pilchers to get a bite little guy A little better. Rotten lip there. And we got a mystery fish snapper. Little snappers. Little snappers everywhere. Ah, grr. Right. 
little bit better. Corner of the mouth. These snappers are red like the sunset. Well, that is the night. I stayed till pitch dark. Uh, I was hoping to see some uh, tarpon activities, at least the juveniles and stuff, but looks like they've vamoosed. Uh, there's still some around, but there's just no activity, no rolling. Usually in the evening time, right at dusk, they would start uh, bouncing around, but just nothing. Uh, today is kind of a lackluster day. I didn't think the weather was gonna be this nice, so I didn't really commit to it. Um, basically, I needed to do do what I did with the uh, pilchers maybe a little bit later in the day so I get closer to that magic hour bring out an actual chum block since I only had just a, a little bit of scraps left in that bag and then uh, go out to the farthest spot and actually fish the bridge I just hit all these little random areas around the launch because I didn't want to go far but eh, caught a few fish but unfortunately I think we have another blizzard coming through <laughs> so uh, I'll be no fishing for the next couple of days or well, at least I'll be converting to rat fishing but uh, anyways, uh, thanks for watching and I will see you next video. Bye.